Yes, how are you? Ooh. Oh, we're just remaining with this. I'm to tell you, quick step out of time. There's no need to rush. Yeah, this is how our diapers are doing. We are remaining with one, two, three, four, and then they're over. But wipes is coming, so we need to do a restock maybe next week. Yeah, next week will be perfect. Good morning, sunshines. How are y'all doing? I hope it's morning, by the way. I don't have my other phone, so I can't confirm that. But <clears throat> hi, sunshines. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back. Welcome back. Please consider subscribing. Actually, please subscribe if you are watching this video. And thank you so much. For 6K, let's get ourselves to 10,000 subscribers because I know it's all um, it's doable, okay? Uh, apologies on the last video's audio the picture and the audio was not going together has it was number tana but i have decided we'll be filming with my phone i also think it has a better quality more reason to tell all the content creators out there you don't need a camera you don't <laughs> you can actually use your phone so thank you so much for there's someone who sent me a dm and i and i <clears throat> and i had to rewatch the video again yeah thank you so much for that feedback because single joe sometimes it takes me a while uh before i watch my uploaded videos i'll just watch it after finishing editing and that's it but it took so much time to upload and render so maybe that also interfered with it but we are back to our program our phone iphone 13 it does the job this video is gonna be exciting kama kawaida thank you so much for the love on my content i really do appreciate it i really really do thank you thank you like i say this is always my outlet of you know sharing what is in my head sharing what i'm going through in a more deeper and more explanations given because instagram we can do that people are gonna get bored of that <laughs> but anyway um the state of my room is alarming and that's how my head is i am really confused woke up with a headache i've been waking up with a headache every single day um for the past few days yesterday i got a massage <sighs> i need to recommend this to new moms I know right now maybe you are not in a position to go to the gym or work out. I feel like something that can slowly bring you back to how you're feeling good, to feeling good, sorry, is through massages or 
physiotherapy yeah those two so personally i'm going through i'm going i'm going with the massage route because my masseuse I don't want to call her masseuse. I know she has like a title. I'm going to write it down here. It's not a masseuse. It's not those ones for TikTok that you see people kissing people's, you know, bums. Mm -mm. She's so professional. And she did actually my my prenatal massage, I think twice. And now she has come to do it um, afterwards. We didn't touch my lower back because she touched my lower back. The pain that was there, my where I was injected for the CS, is so painful still. So she was even telling me, even for the chiropractor, please don't go see one. Give yourself until an ear, <clears throat> until you fully heal. Even like, I shouldn't even be pressuring myself to start working out. Let me just do like walks. So I think I'll just be doing walks around the house or around the estate. Because let me tell you, my body is so stiff and it has a lot of tension. <sighs> Especially my neck area. I think I was complaining that on my last video. It hasn't been nice. I, I don't know what's up. I don't know what's happening. But hey. Nina struggle, Nina struggle because I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm not getting enough rest. Like my body is just fatigued and I think I need a vacation like for a whole week without my baby and my husband and anyone just alone, <sighs> which is not doable <laughs> at the moment. I think the first year of postpartum, it's the hardest, but I can't wait to get through to it. Like six more months. That's what I'm telling myself. Six more months. I'm going to hold it on. Strong, strong. Yeah. So seeing the state of my room has just been shagala bagala. Uh, same to my head. I've not been in a good headspace, but I want to change that. Maybe this week <clears throat> I'm feeling... I'm thinking of going to the hospital today, but I also want to take a lot and a lot of water so that I can reduce that headache and take, sorry, and take loads of rest. Yeah, because my headache always comes from my head and then my eyes and then my, what is it, <laughs> my neck and then my shoulders. <sighs> but I know that is tension and I'm also thinking it's, this bed there's someone who told me to use a plastic chair when breastfeeding guys that is the most uncomfortable thing ever i tried it it didn't work out for me um also i was thinking of buying a recliner for my space but i don't have space itakawapi for breastfeeding itakawapi so it's just it's just a disaster, man. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I got uh, my couch. I don't know if I say that in my last video. I'm going to show you. I also got curtains. And I got um, a buffet table. Buffet? Buffet table? I hope that's how it's called. I'm going to show you. But now the problem is my dining table was supposed to have sold before it coming. So it came earlier. So our space is a bit crumbled. I'm hoping today I'm, I'm going to get a buyer, somebody who's going to commit because I've been getting a lot of calls, but none is committing. You just want to know my location, Alafu. I'm not going to give you my location if you're not going to tell me you're buying it. Show me an effort of like depositing something. Yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> People are so weird. I'm actually wearing... um. I think it's a crop top from Home 254 and just a short. Yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Hi, sunshines. Hope you're well. Now, <laughs> I think I told you guys that this is always like my, my way of letting out what's in my head. And we're going to be having like, I think every video will be having sharing what's in my head. Last time was just sharing about you know, 
children how they can be too much the other time i think i was sharing what was i sharing i can't remember guys my mom brain is overworking but anyway i just wanted to talk to you guys about this time about um friendship and becoming a new mom as per now i'm really really afraid of making new friends not in a bad way and also not in a nice way i'm just safeguarding my space i expected a lot of people to come through for me especially during my pregnancy and also especially postpartum and only I can say one person really showed up and showed out for me and i'm forever indebted to this person so right now where i am um i'm a bit scared to make new friends be it you know mom friends be it any kind of friend maybe like content creation kind of friends because i'm afraid i'm i'm really af i think i've struggled with friendships for a very long time once i part ways with a friend um i get to understand why that friendship ended and most of the times like before before me realizing some of the things were actually my mistake i'm not a good communicator like me niki feel umenebo um things are not working out then not now um me i'll just move on i'll just say deuces see you next time and i don't want to talk about it because that's not how i was shown or rather all the other friendships that i've had they used to leave me so in that era where somebody does something wrong to me i don't have that capacity to come and tell you you did this wrong to me or rather when i tell them you did this wrong to me and then they start justifying themselves i'm just like i'm not gonna do this <laughs> so i don't want friendships and i'm like this is goodbye and i feel like that is such a bad trait um because friendships is a relationship you need to communicate you won't find someone who is you know a hundred percent what you want as a friend mtakosana here and there and i feel like communication is such a big thing and also creating time for each other so like i was saying right now in my space like right now where i am right now in my life i'm really fearing let me say i'm fearing to make new friends because i feel like i'm gonna disappoint them i feel like i'm not gonna have that time for them i feel like i'm not going to be a good communicator at this point of my life just because in this first year of postpartum the only thing that you think about is your baby and people might take it vibaya especially if they are not moms or they are not parents yet people will be like but anaweza mweka tu chini tu akuja hang out na sisi ama mbona akunitikia ni come to their to her house but sometimes like personally i rarely host people in my house that's usually my husband my husband is a social being i know it seems a bit weird because i am in the social media space but he is more social with people like akona mdomo mtamu sana so he has more friends than me na sisi tunasikia vibaya but i also loved him because of that he's such a good talker he's entertaining he's a good friend let me say that um me on the other end i overthink a lot and mimi ukini piss off i'm always like so right now i'm surviving on a uh let's say myself and maybe like one or two other people who are holding me down who are actually my i can say true friends i can die for them two of them 
and I'm okay with that because sometimes I can even go days without talking to them and they kind of understand me because <sighs> postpartum there's something I like I said if there's anything I've ever done that is so difficult in my life getting a child like right now I'm feeling so fatigued my body is telling me by the way we are breaking we are breaking but I don't know how to put it a pause and say you know today I don't want to be with my baby I'm like I need my baby I need him to stop crying let me feed him even when I'm feeding him I'm so weak so I'm just like I wouldn't want to make friendships right now and lose that friendship because of not being a hundred percent pro a hundred percent present it's also so scary being alone but i'm just telling myself it's just for it's just for a while it's just for a while it's got an end and being a first-time mom um especially if you're a first-time mom you never see that process coming to an end or you regaining your life back it takes so much to tell yourself it's just for a period of time but for second time moms third time moms they can't understand you know i have been here before it gets better but for me if you tell me it gets better i'm just like bombastic side eye <laughs> no it doesn't get better um it's it's really challenging and there's someone who has said something in the comments and they're like don't get a baby if you're not mentally ready for a baby sometimes you might think you are craving a baby you're not craving a baby you're craving a pet you're craving attention seek that attention somewhere else and i feel like i i i, I wasn't ready for it but it came and i had to be in it of course i had thought about you know removing it i am not pro life i'm pro choice because don't judge me but we are we are past that era of you know you have to keep the baby because of blah, blah, blah. you know yourself and if you're not ready kita kuramba i'm telling you the truth um so for me it took me an extra muscle an extra like extra efforts extra reassurance for me to actually accept i'm actually gonna have a baby it wasn't easy but it took time it took time because you see this baby is not only mine there's someone else who is involved and him he was ready in quotes <laughs> people who say they are ready and they're not women please stop please stop but like i said i really think i made the right decision i am happy with my decision i am happy with my son i love my son so much and he's gonna grow he's gonna grow seven years are gonna pass by so quickly and then i can have me back again and i can do my shenanigans again and you know take care of my household the way i want take care of myself the way i want take care of my husband the way i want take care of my baby the way i want to so like i said i'm a bit afraid of making friendships it's it's a tough pill to swallow but at this point even i was watching a live um they were talking about how to become a good content creator. I think if you're a creator, you have seen that live. And they were saying you need to network. You need to collaborate. But for me, I'm having a hard time doing that at this point. Um, because I don't want to disappoint myself and lose that connection. And I don't want to disappoint the other person. So that the other person might not think, I this person is not even serious. So let me disappoint myself. I can deal with myself later. I don't know if that makes sense, but at this point I feel I'm not going to give a hundred. And that's why I'm really shying away from committing to any kind of friendship or 
relationship at this point i'm really struggling with that but i know one time it's gonna come it's gonna be natural again it's not gonna be a hard thing so that's what's in my mind this week <laughs> sunshines morning sunshines hi um today is on a tuesday i'm feeling so much better i woke up so like feeling so good my body i feel so relaxed no headache no eye pain no stomach pain this is what i live for happy new month happy august sunshines uh today is first of august and I had told you guys I want to, I have an event to attend, the launch of the Mothership by Mama Mothoni. But yesterday, when I I said I'm going to clear up my bedroom. Did I do that? No, I didn't. It was just too much for me. Like, I think I was going through a lot. Yesterday was such a low day for me. I felt like I'm back at the first week of postpartum. <sighs> Let me tell you, I think that has been like the first week coming home postpartum was the ghetto for me. Like I have never felt such pain <laughs> in my entire life or felt so 
helpless like other singers that could jinua kutoka kwa bed i had to have help but we thank god today today i'm feeling so much better so much to do on august in august rather my son turns six months on fifth uh, my husband's birthday is also this week on friday uh, our aurora show anniversary is this month also we share an anniversary with my parents but theirs is their wedding anniversary it was such a coincidence i even i don't know how we made that date <laughs> but yeah anyway i want to clear out all these things and then get ready for the event the event is supposed to start i think at 2 30 but to be really really honest i don't want to show up earlier or rather how i've seen events just get there like 30 minutes past the time <laughs> they organize because not everyone is gonna show up at that time but maybe this is gonna be different oh well i just need to arrange my bedroom because i feel like my brain right now is at a better place and i can be able to arrange my my room so i'm gonna start with the clothes uh put them in the wardrobe and then change my sheets i wanted to change my duvet cover but it's a lot of work uh i think maybe i can do it towards the end of the week uh maybe put the blue one yeah or the mustard one whichever i'll just figure out which one to put shines i am done now i can start preparing uh for the event let me iron my cloth i'm wearing this pink dress let me iron it i just can't help it i just can't take one second for I am ready <laughs> i think i'll show you guys a full outfit once i get to the event i hope i remember but uh even if i'm not gonna show you i'll insert a full pic i at least i have someone who can take me a pic there i usually have sometimes social anxiety when meeting with some influencers because some can be really snobbish in a bad way <laughs> i've experienced that or you know, someone is not how you talk via the DM. <sighs> That's why yesterday I was just telling you, no new friends, no new friends. Yeah, but anyway, I am in a good spirit, good mood. All I need is water, water. And I think I'll buy it on the way and buy uh, Mama Modoni a bunch of flowers. But anyway, let me just show you how I look. So this is my outfit. I need to clean that mirror. And then I've just carried a shawl in case it gets, um, what is it called? Cold, a shawl when, it's get, when it gets cold. I've also carried a pair of sandals because guys, I am wearing heels. Please don't ask me where these heels are from. Um, <laughs> I imported them and they sold out where I imported them from, so yeah but this is my outfit of the day
love disconnection love disconnection love disconnection only you can turn me on show me direction show me direction show me direction only you can show me now love disconnection love disconnection love disconnection only you can turn me on show me direction show me direction show me direction only you can show me now Sunshines, it's Wednesday. Imagine I've woken up not feeling well. <laughs> I'm convinced that there's something wrong with me. There's actually something wrong with me. And yesterday I was supposed to go to the hospital and get my pressure measured, but I was feeling fine. I was like, okay, like yesterday was such a good day for me. In terms of no eggs, no nothing. Hey, but today I don't know what's up. So I'm just thinking, what did I do yesterday that was so different that that I haven't done today? One of the thing is, I think I was using my phone without my specs. That's number one. I think I need to see to that. Yesterday, instead of going back to sleep for a longer period of time like when like today he woke up at i think 6 50 something uh yesterday i went to sleep until like 8 because i had a phone a phone call um and i woke up so fresh but today i woke up i think at 10 so may, maybe i'm oversleeping or rather i'm really straining my body when i get a few more hours of sleep after the baby has gone to bed. So I think I'm going to observe what I'm going to observe what I do tomorrow and if it works out I think I'll be waking up at 7:38 even if we wake up you know pretty early like at 7 if if he doesn't wake up throughout the night I'll just be waking up that time he goes to sleep. And then I just get ready, do what I'm supposed to do. If it's film, if it's edit, 
like I catch up on a lot of things at that time and then in the evening I can be sleeping either earlier because I really want to start sleep training him and it's gonna be hard but I really want him to start sleeping independently because right now he's either being he's he's sleeping when he's on the boob the bottle or he wants to be rocked to sleep and it's a bit exhausting honestly and i feel like if i start earlier i'm gonna have a better a better life yeah i was talking to just maggie and she really advised me on that yesterday but the, yesterday's event was so lovely i really loved meeting all the um what is it called all the influencers or content creators uh very mature audience i really interacted with them not what you go and see somebody is very different no i got the same same vibe from every person that i interacted with and by the way i just wanted to tell you next week we're going to be talking about um <laughs> if you're an introverted personally i'm not an introvert let's say i'm a i'm an ambivert um or an omnivert i channel your mood if you don't want to talk to me i'm just gonna be snobbish the same way if you wanna talk to me i'm gonna be talkative to you and also i need my time to recharge and also i love being outdoors i really do um maybe not at this time like I, they were saying like no new friends i think it's just a face i just don't want to be an absent friend because i need to treat friendships like a relationship or rather not but i need to give it my best and i don't know honestly if i can make friends right now i feel like they will understand where i'm coming and they understand where i'm coming from like we really don't need to talk on a daily basis i can go mute and you can just come and ask me do you need help are you going through something that will be so amazing but i don't think let me not jinx myself maybe i will get let me say that i will get such friends if i am ever to consider you know making new friends especially in my industry um and also just outside my industry, I really love just getting a perspective of someone who's not popular or, you know, isn't a content creator or an influencer. I really love that other side because I really enjoy being with those people because sometimes everyone who has their phone is there. Oh, it becomes kind of overwhelming. Yeah, so I like people who can ground me yeah yeah I, I love that i love that so yeah anyway like i was saying had a great time yesterday i have a lot and lots of content my goodness i don't know where to start and i don't have that psych i wish yesterday was filming day i would have done i would have shot everything but today is filming day and i have zero energy so i just want to take a shower and see how i'm gonna feel just don't like being that kind of a content creator but this week i'm being one of those and i didn't plan ahead and it's beyond me some things are beyond me oh i wanted to show you guys um i've been trying to to be like a lady i'm not i'm not particular um let me say this I, i'm not so good with you know skin care bath care sort of thing but i'm channeling in my magimwende i saw her hyping these products from balea and i got myself the buttermilk and lemon i'm not big on shower gels guys you know me i hate shower gels like that sticky feeling afterwards i don't like it but I am really trying. I think the next thing I need to buy is like a scrub. And I got this vanilla and cocos. Um, I haven't opened them. I even don't know how they smell. But I saw it's like th they're 350. They're really affordable, guys. I, I thought they are gonna be like millions, millions, because we all know self-care items are really expensive. Let me 
smell this buttermilk and lemon oh this is lovely both this more they both smell so good i'm a lover of vanilla and lemon scent yeah so i got those i put all my filming items can you see all that i have vivo i have just a uh, glam by ivy i have mode chow have backyard oh goodness oh those things actually fell <laughs> the bathroom organizers but i asked rembesha to send me um to send me other items like this see like this this hasn't more cut they're not like those transparent ones and i hope they so i got myself this silicone brush oh god i don't know where i've been living under a rock so amazing i'll tag the page and it also comes with a head massager but i had bought this a while ago um for shooting but i really really love it um please tell me why my husband is like why are you buy why are you buying yourself things that you can't buy me i got this for the back scrub honestly it's i don't know how it's working i i don't know if i'm in the ghetto i don't know how to use it but i'm planning on buying that african i don't know what they're calling it african cloth and then i got this dry brush please tell me my husband has not been using this oh goodness he has been using it ghetto <laughs> yeah. yeah and then i got myself gloves uh for exfoliating that's why i need a scrub so i'm really trying to be a lady and i feel like if i get those things hung there now all these things can go there because what is this what is this there's no aesthetics here there's no so and then now i can have blue things can be for my husband and my pink things can remain to be mine so i think i'll just have to give him this give him that and then buy myself others i think i'll just purchase a pink one because this comes with a head massager and then i buy for him a blue one blue one and blue one and then we can get rid of this and then get myself also pink towels uh for myself and i can get for him blue i just hope he's not gonna confuse because let me tell you husbands are the ghetto using your things and they don't even say <laughs> anyway yeah i've been trying to be a lady and i think i'm gonna order the rest maybe maybe i can order them today or tomorrow so that we can stop conflicting over this and stop putting our shower gel our shampoos over there uh, that has basically been the update uh let me shower i hope i'm gonna have the strength to film if not i'm not even gonna bother because my head has been aching like it's throbbing so much and when my head aches i can't do anything I hate I hate feeling this way. I really do. Um, it seems this week the video is gonna be long, or I can just end it here, and then we can have a part two. The other Sunday or on Wednesday, not promising. But if this is the end of this video, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next video. Ooh.